Good morning from Shenandoah National Park. I arrived late last night on Halloween. Did some uh, biking, the first uh, four miles or so coming from the north. Um, I'm at the first visitor center doing the Skyline Drive, uh, which is gonna be uh, a lot of uphill. It was pretty much all uphill for the first four miles, but Nothing too steep, nothing too crazy. It was pretty enjoyable even at night. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a great day today. So if you're not familiar with my channel, currently bicycle touring from Canada to Argentina. And uh, yeah, I was looking forward to doing the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is just north of it. So it seems like I'm all uh, set up for this uh, run through Shenandoah National Park. Uh, I have a backcountry permit now which allows me to uh, camp basically anywhere I want. Uh, the permit is free. The entrance for the park itself, the National Park, was $10. Uh, so that with the permits I can, uh, they still consider the bicycle a um, a vehicle so you still can't take it off the road too much you can still take it like maybe 50 feet off the road uh, secure it to a tree and then take a backpack and go uh, set up camp and there's also a lot of hiker uh, huts um, there's also uh, campgrounds that uh, most of the year you can use and pay for but uh, today's November 1st so most of them are uh, closed. Uh, they actually closed uh, a few days ago. And another thing to note, the visitor shop, um, well the visitor center shop is full of black bear uh, stuff. So, uh, and that was part of the getting the, the permits. They, they, they tell you all the proper bear protocol and, and stuff like that. So apparently there's a lot of bears here. So keep that in mind and uh, uh, be safe. So like an hour in and I'm already at my second clothing change. So the tip would be that when you start off you should be just about freezing because there are no flats here, it's all uphill and then quickly downhill. So you're gonna be getting hot really quick. So start really cold and then you'll warm up very quickly. as advertised. And they can climb trees. And they're fast. Probably shouldn't stick around. Almost doesn't look real. So about at the 23 mile marker, there's a little store and grill where I got some much needed fuel, barbecue sandwich, some fries. I hadn't eaten anything and, except for some Reese's pieces this morning, so 
did about 20 miles, mostly uphill, so really needed this. Beauty never stops. To the big meadows. This is where I camped last night. Decided to camp at a cabin ground so I could get a much needed shower and laundry and a warm meal to start off the day. That's how you get the day started. Coffee, chilled cheese fries, and a meal tea. And one. So I'm pretty excited for today because as you might have noticed in the video yesterday, it was kind of cloudy and cold, which you probably didn't notice in the video, but uh, today's supposed to be warm and sunny, so things should get even more beautiful. Everything you need after a long day of riding. Cheeseburger, Cheez-Its, water, and some ointment. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video of the bicycle touring the Shenandoah National Park, taking the Skyline Drive. I really had a great time. As you can tell if you watched the video all the way to this point, it was absolutely beautiful. No need to say that it's definitely recommended. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you enjoyed this video and uh, you'd like to see some some more of, uh, of this kind of video. Uh, my next leg of my journey is going to be the Blue Ridge Parkway uh, so that should be spectacular as well so check that out once it's available and check out my website followthehumoftheearth.com where there's an interactive map where you can see uh, the different stops in my journey uh, click on the different locations and see the content that's available for uh, that area so hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, have a great one.